Mario Brothers. Wee Aloha everybody, I'm Mario here, and I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here ever since the Simpsons Road Rage we actually did done in the um, last years for the end of the playthrough. And today for um for this video we're about to be tackling through of one of our remade playthroughs, and I say re remade um playthrough because we're about to be doing uh, the game that we like to do for uh, quite a long time, actually. Which was called, if you can tell from the title, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And this game was actually re released in 2009 for, obviously, Nintendo Wii, because it says New Super Mario Bros. Wii on the title. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get this um, started while pressing the 2 button to start up with. And then there's, uh, there's our actual file selection screen here. And then basically we'll jump into file 2 already. So, what I'd like to discuss about something is that, well, predictably, um, you guys saw on the uh, on YouTube channel that we did technically try to do this game on the actual um, playthrough of it, alongside with Stuart with King of the 34 as a cooperative playthrough. Well, unfortunately, that particular playthrough is cancelled due to the fact that the parts themselves Perhaps the most famously, the um, the final few parts has automatically corrupted or deleted itself. So we, and then also that we can't get that backup um, data. So unfortunately, though, that we may play for, or in this case, the original playthrough has been cancelled. Well, in this case, we we'll might as well call it the old version of the playthrough, at least the cooperative version of the playthrough. But that was back in 2013, after all. So. Because of that, though, we decided to celebrate with New Super Mario Bros. U were about to come out on that particular time. So, rather than just actually doing a cooperative playthrough on the newer version, because after all, we're going to be playing this game on ourselves. So, let's get this started here. Today is Princess Peach's birthday. Oh gee, I wonder what, how old this Peach is going to be at on um, when it comes to aging stuff. So, let's see what this birthday cake was going to be inside. Gonna be excited. Oh! Oh god, here we have Bowser Jr. we, um, we have in the, um, in the cake. And also along with the Koopalings, since Super Mario World. And then, um, once again, Bowser Jr. is gonna kidnap Princess Peach once again. So, that's a bit of a damsel distressed, um, kind of syndrome, basically, so... And basically, these two toads right here is about to toss those two presents and pop into the cannon, technically. And we bursted out these, um, these familiar items. Hmm, I wonder what these items could be. But I guess we'll just have to find out. And so the adventure begins in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So yeah, this was uh, predictably the second installment of the New Super Mario Bros. series. And also that, um, well, we'll discuss that when we're actually going to be doing the game, during the gameplay itself. Alright, so here, here we have to access to the world map, and just like the DS counterpart, that, uh, we can traverse through every single levels, and occasionally some toad houses. Toad houses are back and forth force here, including those familiar cannon levels since the DS title. And um, eventually we come across into the tower stages, just like the DS version. And we have this very familiar toad house right onto the, where the star um, color is. Um, we might as well actually just find out in sooner or later, but you guys should know what um, this house is going to be. So, um, yeah. And then here we have some new elements into the, um, the world map. Here we have these little enemy wandering around in the map. But we'll discuss that when we actually go ahead to progress through each of the level, and plus the game itself. And then if you go back there, this is where we actually go inside Princess Peach's castle. But there's nothing else you can do in here besides, you know, the ultimate gimmick on that particular level. It's not really a platform level. It's just literally just for uh, finding those um, star coins in order to actually get the unlockable hint movies. So, and yeah, you need, and also you might as well spend them until when you're trying to get these hint movies. Just like how it does it on the new Super Mario Brothers where you get yourself a customizable um, wallpaper in the bottom screen, so, yeah. Alright, so here we go, with level 1-1, the first level in the game, and just like the DS version of New Super Mario Bros, you can see Princess Peach's castle in the background. I think it always seems to always done that on um, every single New Super Mario Bros games nowadays. Yeah, I know that, though. So yeah, this is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, this is pretty much a... 
Well, this game is very similar to the, the new Super Mario Bros. on the Nintendo DS, as you guys know and love. But, um, you still have this very familiar Mario's um, acrobatics, like, um, the wall jump, as you can see. And the ground pound you can also perform. And then, um, the triple jump as well. So, um, right off the bat though, we only got about, like, five lives in our disposal, just like the DS version. So, yeah. And here's in Mario's new ability, well, specifically in this game, as well as new Super Mario Bros. U, we're about to tackle through sometime in autumn, that, um, Mario actually has himself a spin jump. But before we actually get into these, uh, little new acrobatics and such, here we come across into these new power-ups introduced in this game. Here we have Propeller Mushrooms, or in this case, Propeller Mario. Um, this power-up is pretty cool, though, at first glance, because if you actually shake the Wii Remote, assuming if you actually jump in mid as well, that, um, you can actually spin the Wii Remote until you actually blast it off up to the skies. And basically, if you actually, um, go about into a descent mode, which we're about to counter at just about in a second, which, yeah. If you hit to this pipe quickly, then you can get yourselves a... The second star coin, which is right where it was, you can either do it with a wall jump ability, or you can use the propeller, um, Mario in order to do that. And yeah, if you actually, um, press the D-pad down, once you actually slowly descend, so that means you can actually just, uh, get ourselves a nose dive into it. And then if you don't press the D-pad at all, then it'll basically let, uh, well, Mario just somehow just, um, hover it for a few seconds. Now, if we come across to here, there's some secrets, like some one-up mushrooms. Yeah, which is hiding in um, the hidden blocks, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, and, um, and just so what you let us know that, the, yes, there's the last star coin is hidden in here, so... And as usual, get to the end of the level, which is basically get into the flagpole, and that's all you do here, so... Yeah, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory, really. So yeah, that's um the first level done. It's pretty easy though. Now we move on to the second level, which we have World One Dash Two, and if I remember rightly, that um just like the um the DS version, or in this case the New Super Mario Brothers, the original game, that um you actually gonna be takes place in the underground level, as you probably expected by now. That um just like how it does in the original Super Mario Brothers game on the NES that, um, the second level is always be the underground level when you start the game off. And also not to mention the, um, Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels as well, so if you want to include that as well, so... Alright, so here we have a... technically a new power-up in the 2D Mario department. Here we have the Ice Flower. If you remember from the Ice Flower from Super Mario Galaxy 1, that, um, in, in that game, that you can actually skate around in the, on the Ice Rig as Ice Mario or Ice Luigi, it depends on which players you're actually using. But in this game, that it acts very similar to the Fire, Fire Flower does. In fact, the returning power-ups are actually make a comeback into this game, like the Mushroom do make a return, as well as the on the Fire Flower, and um, the Star Man makes a return, and as well as the Mini Form, which uh, well, it discovered those during the later time. So, and um, yeah, so we encounter technically the two power-ups, but there's actually one more power-up we can actually discover through, but we'll save that for a later time. So anyways, the Star Man is back, and then, unlike the ones in the, um, the last game, which, um, only lasts for longer than, the we've, um, done before, and then, rather than just actually put in the Super Mario 64, um, jingle sound, instead we actually get a traditional Star Man theme, so, I think this sound effects also do make a return in, uh, Mario and Sonic at their London 2012 Olympic Games, as much of the fact that on the London party mode, so, and there's the last star coin, you need to do is just basically just activate the pro block, and then if you somehow activate the pro block, that, um, you can actually, um, let these coins go all the way down, including star coins as well. So that's pretty cool though, yeah. Especially you know for the fact that if you want to actually complete 100% completion of the game, now you probably best to actually hold the, um, the power block at all, at all times, and occasional at some points, because obviously, that some of these star coins were only required, um, some, some of the time, that, um, we only have to acquire the power block in order to actually get to it, so... Yeah, sometimes it um, happens and sometimes no.
Alright, so we're done with that. Now we move on to level 1-3. Where, things are getting pretty interesting actually. Well, let's go into it, shall we? Yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. So we only have like 16 lives at this point. Yeah, I know, just like how it does in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1, that um, you can get a lot of lives, including the ones in New Super Mario Bros. on the DS as well. So, yeah, don't expect that, that the game itself is way too easy at the beginning. So, or else later on it can get really difficult later on. Hey, Yoshi's back! So yes, um, in addition to actually having some returning power-ups, we actually have a, a returning to Yoshi in a 2D Mario game department. And basically, if you remember from Super Mario World, that um, he's um, pretty much exactly how he is in the um, sense Super Mario World, that he can um, eat enemies and he can actually occasionally eat some berries. Oh, no, no, no! You stupid fudger. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you like a little abomination of, well, demon thing. Duh, that's what you deserved. Anyway, um, Yoshi can still use this as flutter jump, um, just like the ones, although now he, Yoshi can actually use the flutter jump as opposed to the, um, Super Mario World. That, um, somehow Yoshi doesn't flutter jump in Super Mario World, but Yoshi can in, um, Yoshi's Island. So, while well, doing so is by holding the two button down. And speaking of the control scheme of this game, that, um, you can actually use two different types of controllers you can use in this game. Well, before we get into that, actually, um, just like the, um, the original game on the new Super Mario Bros. series, um, uh, this game actually has the returning secret exits. Like, basically, we actually encountered the first secret exit. Yeah, I apologize for a little lacking frame rate going on here, folks. Yeah, it just always happens when um, some of these capture cards attempt to do that. So, we do apologize for that, though, it's just it randomly happens. So, here we have the secret exit of level 1 3. And if you guys can tell already, I think this will actually lead us to the cannon. Or, in this case, the first cannon in this game. So, yeah. And just like the original New Super Mario Bros. game where uh, Mickey did ta tackle through. That, um, I don't expect that, um, we'll save the cannons until just now. We'll save those for later. Mario, bad news. This letter has got dropped in this um, castle. In order, in order my millions to stuff every annoying toad, they catch into the question mark lock. Ha. Huh. If you want to save them, come alone. You can't get any help from, the, from your friends, Bowser Jr. I'm worried about them. If you found a toad, carry him to the goal. Oh, here's that Goomba right there. And he snagged toad! Oh no! But we'll just actually just to... Uh, I don't know. Continue. Because yes, um, if you ever play this game on your own, or in this case the single player campaign, that um, you can only get the um, the toad, uh, finding toad in every single, or some of the levels at the time, that um, basically what this does is that if you actually find toad in these question mark blocks, that um, if, you, uh, if you're about to actually um, get some more lives in the process, then um, you must able to actually carry him in order to, in order, you, you must carry him all the way to the goal. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about more on that until in the later part. Stupid hammer brother, you murdered that Yoshi from before. But that's what you get. Anyways, um, when you swallow five of these um, berries, then we can actually get ourselves occasional power-ups. So, yeah, just like how it does in Super Mario World. In fact, every single aspect of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii is just basically pretty much Super Mario World and new Super Mario Bros. Wii all combined it together. Like, Yoshi just uh, made his debut again. And we're just quite awesome, actually, because I'm usually... Oh, don't it! Why do I do that again? Oh jeez, we're doing so bad like this. In fact, these Hummer Bros are actually even, um, having against us some of the uh, revenge. Or something like that. Alright, so now we're done with that, and now we're about to be tackling through the tower level now. So, and just like the, um, the tower levels from the first game on the series, New Super Mario Bros. on the DS, I always kept on saying that, but, um, usually we come across into these mini boss fights, so, here we have the first um, coupling we're about to face until we get to the top of the door, which we're about to be fighting against um, Larry Cooper. Yeah. 
So I think Larry Cooper was actually first into um, first slave fight through in Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm pretty sure it's on world number one. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm standing for. So um yeah, that's that's all I can think of. So anyway. So that's the first star coin just right up there. But yeah, I actually really like the propeller mushroom. It's, it does help you actually give you some certain ways that you can actually discover some secrets. And heck, even you can actually use this thing in order to avoid some little slow pace platforms, like for instance, like this one. So, that's pretty awesome actually. And we actually ranked up to 19 lives right now. So yeah, there's gonna be plenty of times that you can get a whole bunch of lives in this game until later on, because you know... So when you're actually progressing each of the level, that the game could get really challenging later on. So, bottom line is though, that, um, well, you know. So, the main selling point of this game actually has, is that this game is actually, um, well, this was technically the first, uh, 2D Mario game to actually have itself a four-player co-op. So yeah, like, um, four characters, um, all at one screen. So that's pretty cool, I gotta say that. Yeah, it's not just a matter of, um, it's just a, um, well, a brand new 2D Mario game console department, but we actually go back into the return to the 2D routes in the console treatments in Super Mario World. So, yeah. Now, there are occasional moments when if we actually approach to the door, that, um, we might actually find the, some of the hidden blocks for the time, so, basically we actually encountered the fireballs, so, just like the original, that, um, you can shoot these fireballs whenever you wanted to, so, at least if you're actually using this, um, spin jump, that will actually shoot even multiple, um, fireballs. So yeah, if you shake the Wii mode, Mario can do, like, a spin jump, and then, um, if you do it in mid-air, when you jump, they can actually just to spin for a bit to actually get some recover mid-air, and then you should be able to be, um, do that while doing so. I think this, I think that ability is actually really helpful if you actually come across into this large portions of leaps of faith or whatever. Yeah. Even though that Mario has a spin attack since Super Mario Galaxy. But, um, no Master Luma or anything, so... Yeah. Alright, so we're practically done with the first half of this world. So, you know what that means? Is that we're about to hopefully finish this video just about right here. So, next time, on Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. Wii, is that we're about to hopefully finishing up World 1. So, yeah, and eventually we're about to finish it off Larry Cooper on this world. So, um, yeah, see you guys next time for that. Later, fellas.